A delight for everyone who's still a kid at heart, a look at one of the world's most fabulous toy collections. Next, we'll share in one man's Toy Story that goes back long before anyone dreamed of making a movie called Toy Story, when Good Morning America continues here on ABC. Kids around the world are joyfully unwrapping gifts today, but it's hard to imagine that any of them love toys more than the man you are about to meet. He is Mel Burncrant, a craftsman and collector so reverent about toys, you have to believe that for him, Christmas would be a religious experience even without its religious roots. Burncrant has hundreds of thousands of pieces in his vintage toy collection and his very own workshop so he can make more. Yes, he has plenty of toys in his life, but he gave us a look at the life in his toys. I started collecting when I was three years old. I went to a Disney film. It wasn't unusual at that time to be taken to a movie like that. And of course, the experience isn't like it is today. You're going to a darkened theater and you see this huge doorway in front of you. And I immediately, when I was three years old, said, my God, that's the world I want to live in. And I've been pursuing, I've been trying to get through that doorway in one way or another all my life. Ironically, this has nothing to do with nostalgia. I'll there's not a toy in this house that I knew as a kid. Everything here is from the time before I was born. I have enough of these images that I think they bespeak for a reality for this world, and I'm comfortable surrounded by toys. These icons that are created here are, are much more interesting than the images they're meant to portray. They're, they're all the works of unknown artists and they've come up with images that have an amazing life force to them. On a certain level, this is an important art movement. These comic characters are shorthand for a life force. Mickey Mouse is amazing because there's nothing realistic about him. He's nothing more than a bunch of circles. I'm the guy they call Little Mickey Mouse. This celluloid Mickey on skates here is to me just the most beautiful image that I've ever encountered. It stands on one tiny skate and it's wearing this lovely little scarf that's blowing in the wind. I found it. Here is that perfect Mickey. I invent toys so I can buy toys, but the business is, is very tough, so I produce maybe 30 ideas a year, which I'll prototype and make a model of, and if I can sell one a year, I'm very, very happy to do that. I won't say that I don't love what I do. My pleasure really comes from finding toys that someone else invented. I collect these things not as toys, but as works of art. They're art by artists who thought of themselves not as artists. They were doing a mundane job creating toys for kids meant to be discarded, and here they are preciously intact. <laughs> 